Are you ready? Follow me, yeah. Uh, plug it in. If this comes on, if that display comes on, that's the main thing. Are you ready? Is the screen broken because no. it's got fuzzy light? Oh. It means that it, it sort of works. <laughs> Start metering things out just to see if I've stupidly f forgotten something again. This is my box, it's not your box, it's my box. I ordered this on Friday from America and it's turned up this morning. It's come from DigiKey. Uh, DigiKey do free shipping. I just hope they sent me what I ordered, that's all. <laughs> This is just completely, absolutely wrapped in sellotape. These are the genuine, absolute genuine uh, product. Now, these are cheaper than the ones in China. These are 16 and they're genuine. I'll show you uh, what, what Cockupper did on the FPC connector. I don't know if you can see there's two pins that are bridged. Uh, one of them was the X, uh, sorry, the external communication inverter, which I was supposed to put to three volts and I put it to ground. And that wasn't the right way to do it. I should have I should have put that one to three volts, which I've done, and it works perfectly. Excuse the mess. Uh, this is just the throttle for the scooter. It's just obviously a test. Uh, this is the first time I've connected this to anything more than a 2S pack. This is a 20S uh, lithium ion pack, and they're charged to around about four volts each. <laughs> I'm a bit scared. <laughs> uh, this could go very well or flames. So I've got two stages. The first one, which I'm worried about, is plugging it in. And the second stage is when I fire it up. Now, if these aren't in perfect sequence, it's going gonna, it's gonna to fry it, completely fry it. These have to be perfectly sequenced. Here we go for the first bit. So that's negative. These are keyed, so you can't, well, I can't get it wrong. Got no fire yet. So now, with a power bank, <laughs> I don't trust plugging it into a laptop. We're gonna see 20 cell voltages on there, or a fire. Well, it ain't right, but it works. Got something over this side that is getting hot. I better uh, unplug it and then go and check me coding, I suppose. I've made another one. Painstakingly made another one. Uh, this is with no, well, apart from the teensy, this is with all the components properly mounted uh, with my modification that I had to do. <laughs> because I didn't link the shift register to registers together. So, I've got this one. This is going to be my prototype for testing and also expanding on. I haven't plugged this in yet, so anything could happen. We'll plug this into the power bank and hopefully it will give me voltage readouts. Cell number 19 is zero. 
Yeah, I had these <laughs> SSRs that were blown uh, when I plugged it in the first time and I hadn't linked the shift registers. There was a load of these that got bloody hot. So, yeah, I thought it had popped some. But I've had to replace cell 19 and cell 2. But they're all right now. Not getting warm at all. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to work on the display because I've got to plug this into the Flip Sky 75100 and then I've got to get all the readings as well as all this on it. I am going to have buttons but for the time being I just want all the data on the display. So I'm going to be working on that and everything's going to be fine. Look at the mess. Look at the, look, just look at the mess. <laughs> uh this is the board I was working on. Uh, it's getting too messy. There's too many wires hanging off. So I built another one and I spent quite a long time yesterday building it and then it didn't work. So I spent quite a long time this morning diagnosing it. I meted everything out, absolutely every single bloody pin and I couldn't find anything wrong with it. But as soon as I put the TNC in, it just didn't fire up. Well, what the bloody hell's going on? Someone, I'm not mentioning any names, but it's me, uh, put the shift registers in the wrong way around. So I've had to take them all off and I've got to put them all on the right way this time. <laughs> you see, simple, stupid mistakes. Oh shit, I've bent a pin. Stupid, simple mistakes like that are very easy to make, even when you're unprofessional like me. Thank you.